<laughs> yeah, I like that, you know. Yeah, you know, like, you know, bad boy stuff. Yeah, you know, so, called Adam, yeah, you know. you know, so I was living good. But, mm-hmm. you know, after school, I decided to really look for, you know, what God has really given to me. So that was when, you know, I had to leave home, you know, because my dad really had a problem with my mom. Yeah, I was just, oh, your mom. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know, so, uh, you know, we got this broken home stuff. So I, I got, like, I had to leave home and, you know, hustle for my own. And that was when I started facing life and realities mm-hmm. you know that was when i started seeing that oh wow because you know when i was in the house my friends come to me and they tell me yo i don't have food you know my, we don't have this and i i don't i didn't really get it because i had everything mm-hmm. when i was growing up so after you know i went on the streets you know sleeping from one place to the other that was when i realized you know yeah you know like so, so when your father left your mom like mm. he didn't leave her with anything like she didn't take the holes like you had to leave or what what was the situation no like ghana that? law is very crazy yeah they talk to me about that one <laughs> crazy yeah, you know? <laughs> well you know in Ghana you know the laws are good though but sometimes you know when you don't like push the law to do stuff for you yeah things are not going to come to your side it's, it's the same it's old year actually yeah, yeah i know a politician to say yeah you know yeah, yeah powers and stuff so basically my mom left and we didn't know her whereabouts until sometime you know and i also le- left the house to you know started like doing my studio steps mm-hmm. and yeah so that's how come you know i started facing stuff you know people you know so people who never knew me from my school days saw me in the music industry like um a ghetto boy you mm. know because i i was rolling with all the like you know thugs in the streets Bad you boy. know yeah you know and i was having my dreads on and stuff so people saw me and they were like yo yeah, this guy you know ruffian you know that yeah. kind of thing but i told myself i didn't want to lose focus mm. I didn't want to do drugs. I didn't want to get myself caught, you know. So all I had in mind was music. Mm -hmm. And I had this vision to really make my parents, like, like, you know, get surprised when they see me. Like, they go like, wow. So he did it. So I was always with, like, producers, you know, like DJs, you know, and stuff like that. So that's how come I got my first deal and, you know, things just like... So is your father or or your mother, Mm. were they supportive of the dream or like... No, not at all. You know, I I tell everybody, you know, I know sometimes they feel bad about it, but, you know, I have to really speak the truth, you know, Mm because they they didn't see me like this, you know, because now I will say, you know, when they watch the things I do, you know, like um, building houses, you know, I bought a house, you know, my girl is working, Mm -hmm. you know, my kid is going to one international school, you know, they get shocked, like, you know, I'm driving like the best cars, you know, yeah, so when they see me, they go like, whoa, Mm -hmm. this guy is serious, yeah, Yeah, but But they were supportive. I mean, you're not new to this, because, I mean, you're a girl of 16, you're at Ben's. Yeah, but, you you know, I I, I wanted them to understand it, for me to leave a home and, you know, do this thing. Yeah, it's a different thing when you accomplish and get things. Yeah, yeah, you know, because sometimes I feel when you get stuff that you get yourself, you feel proud about it and you know how to take care of things so basically that's how come and i i feel very proud now Mm -hmm. that that i've gotten things that i really wanted you know because once upon a time i was telling my crew you know we we need to live in one of the richest areas in ghana and they were like yo how can we do that you know we don't have money i was like yo watch me it's the music yeah and now you know like all my friends like not my friends you know i don't have friends i have a crew like eight set of you know boys that you know we work together you Mm -hmm. know including my management team and stuff and we all are driving like good cars, you know, like, you know, have some good bank accounts. Mm-hmm. And that's my main aim. I want from- to be a part of your crew. <laughs> <laughs> you ask if you can't let me want to kill you. That's fine. Right. So, like, no are you, so you're trying to make international, um, uh, local Jamaican connections. Like, mm. are you working with any name brand producer or did you work or have you worked with any name brand producers that we know of? You know, like, we would. Well, well, you know, I've, I think I started working with, Damage, you know, can see my management here. Mm-hmm. Um, I've worked with like YGF, mm-hmm. you know. Um, um, I've I've worked with um, Sean Storm. Um, I think a couple of them, you know. I think I wrote them. You know? Let me just <laughs> say it before they come looking for me. You know? I think uh, Black Sheep Music too. Yeah, okay. yeah Silverbird. 
you know, not nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. A black chick love the African yeah. you know, music yeah. and you know, yeah. Some, yeah. 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 Lepic Joes, you know. So a couple of them, mm-hmm. but I really want to work with, you know, more of them. Mm-hmm. Um, I think um the f- the feeling will be nice when I meet, you know, them one on one. Because I don't want to be working in Africa and I want to come here, come record, you know, go back, you know. And who is the Jamaican artist? Retirement <laughs> <laughs> or still working that you want to work with, like if you can draw the one out of retirement. You haven't worked with before. <laughs> you know, I know when I not say Not Carter, Carter yeah. being a jail. Oh, <laughs> no, but you know, but you, I, I love vibes, Carter. Mm-hmm. You know, I love every Jamaican artist, you know, but I feel I, I love some of them who are on the mainstream, mm-hmm. you know, because I, I don't just love them because they are in that line, but I feel you know, they really know what they are doing, you know, because when you're an artist, you need to know that this is business. This is how you want to work. But some artists want to work and just, you know, put their chains on their neck and, you know, wear what, oh. what, you know. And we all know some of them are fake, but mm-hmm. they still want to wear it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's how some, some artists see themselves like. But I want to work with people like that, you know, like Alkaline came to Ghana. I had a song with him. Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know. Um, yeah, they're on the ATM remix. Yeah, you know, because... I'm, I'm trying to work with them because I feel they have that business mind, you know, mm-hmm. to, you know, because most musicians are, are just on stage every time, but they don't really know that, yo, this is business, you know, at least when you get getting paid, you know how to, you know, such yourself. You can't tell say if I'm a real politician, you know, because you're just about the business. <laughs> yeah, I, I love business. Yeah. You know? yeah. It's all about the money. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's important, you know, yeah, but. Oh, yeah, well, you did land that collab, though, yeah. Doctor. Um, you know, when he came to Ghana, um, we had a chat and he was like, yo, he has this song that he wants us to do and mm-hmm. I was like, yo, I'm, I'm ready for it because, you know, people love me. You know, when he came, I even told him he has like, like, Wally performance in Ghana. He was like, yo, am I sure? You know, but on the day of the show, that was when he saw that, you know, Ghanaians really love his music and mm-hmm. stuff. So, after we just exchanged numbers and he told me he was going to send me a rhythm for us to, you know, do a collab and I was so glad about it and I respect him for that, you know. Mm-hmm. Mm. Well, Chatawale, give thanks for passing. Wait, I want, as, you know, so I do my little research. Oh. <laughs> so I kind of want, you know, get a little mix up and sing in. Oh, <laughs> Stone Boy's wedding. Like, what? <laughs> yeah. When you when Google Chatawale, that's the first thing that comes up. <laughs> yeah. I was like, what is this mix up? But aren't you with him on the um, Ghana Meets Niger tour? Like, yeah, this the one in London, I yeah. think, is a, is a bill, you know. But, you know, sometimes I, I just tell people, you know, I'm the only artist that people use me to fight other artists, you understand? Because, mm-hmm. one, I don't really go to radio interviews, you know. I don't go to TV interviews, but my music is always on the streets. Mm-hmm. And the industry is always trying to get away to, you know, just, you know, wipe me out. But, you know, the music. You yeah, you know, because that's what they're doing in Ghana, you know, because they always want to fight me with maybe if it's if it's not Samini, it's Stone Boy or my own bo- like like all of them are like my boys that I knew mm-hmm. you know we grew up you know I didn't grow up with them they were coming to me you mm-hmm. know because they felt I had this Jamaican you know lifestyle you know most boys want to dress like me in Ghana because if we oh this guy yeah, you know but I'm I'm a humble person I like to keep life simple and you know meet people and talk to people I tell people when I'm off stage I want to be my normal self mm-hmm. you know I want girls who know me and like me to call me junior you know but Charles. i don't want them to call me Ch- Charles. Yeah, okay. Charles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know so basically they just fight me for no reason like yeah. stone boy's wedding yeah but i i don't know how come this whole thing came into my line you mm-hmm. know because and his wife is a doctor and my wife is not a graduate i was like yo I don't need, he should have given me an invite. I would have come, mm-hmm. you know, but Ghanaians just want to twist the whole thing, go like Stone Boy is marrying, you know, Princess Diana's <laughs> ancestor or something. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but it's all good, man. Yeah. I, I, I love it. I don't, I don't, you know, have emotional feelings for stuff like that. I believe the controversy is good for me. I've learned from it and I think I really want to go far with this because it, it, it has built me up to be a man. You mm-hmm. know, so when I hear stuff like that coming up, I don't feel the pressure. I love it. Mm. Yeah. You accept it. Yeah. As you should. Yeah. Work with it. <laughs> a true dancer. Like yeah. You yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you know? going to some fest, like you just be a patron there. Yeah. I want to go watch mm-hmm. it and see how it goes. Like, mm-hmm. you know. Because yeah. I think Pata Ranking should be. Yeah. I think he's on build. Yeah, yeah. Performing. Yeah, yeah. Are you good with him? He's my 
youth, yeah, we, we're good. Mm. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> 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 when I trust that. Oh, Are no. you good with smarter uh, rankings? Oh, no, he knows. He knows we're good, you know. Oh, he, knows, okay. he knows we're good. But sometimes, you know, I just don't like artists who want to lie too much, you know. <laughs> 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 no, we we have to be real, you know. True. Because you know, one thing I've I've studied in Jamaica is that you know when you lie to your friend or your brother, like he sees you like a snitch. Yeah. True. Yeah, you know. So I always want to be real with people, but you know, Africa is full of lies. You know, somebody want to come to you and impress you and tell you things. Well, that, on the scam. Yeah, we kind of have that big man Africa that yeah. full of scammers. And, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's partly true. <laughs> well, I'm saying we scammed us. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. No. Anyway, it's everywhere. Afri- yeah. Africans, yeah. Yeah. yeah, we love money. So anyway, which way? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This is your boy, Wally Music TV. Send subscribe me, my shots. So wanna subscribe him? If you wanna click bell, no do. Now me the video be out tomorrow. I want the first person to share. If you wanna drop a comment to us, so. Wale Music TV, yes, at Wale Ni TV, I have a more to Wale Ni News. Na update, everything be a fan, at Wale Ni Hubi, I want to back on what I'm more proud for me, though. In the bomb, more than a subscribe, next share. Now, brother, and I was just the whole age, me day, doing Wale Music TV. Video be a able person, or how they be a bash at Wale. In the say, yes, at Wale Ni Fan, quit send ya, blend a bit of good news. Blend, never share, never subscribe. Now, brother, and I was just the whole age, me day, doing Wale the more plus for me do you do be able post one had the bia ye basha tawali and she said edge won the day a shatawali fan kwa tse dia blende bete good news a basha tawali ne bo modern na she na wo blende ana wo sister on hu edu me de ye di wawali music tv thank you